Remember the God episodes from season five? This is like the Walmart discount version of that episode. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. Hey guys, this is my review for Remember the Titans episode 16 of Supernatural season eight. This is the one where they find Prometheus who keeps on dying every day and his connections with a lady and a boy brings back Zeus, Artemis, and it all ties into how Sam is feeling about going through the trial, and this episode's really boring. On paper, this should have been a cool idea, at least from the beginning. The idea of finding a guy who keeps on dying every day, waking up, resurrecting, and then going off to die again at the end of the day. That was probably about as far as they got with the concept, because afterwards, it just gets more and more stale. It gets drier. You don't feel any connection with the Prometheus guy other than what's happening to him because, yeah, it would suck to die and to wake up again every day. Do we call 911? I tell him what, the, the dead guy who stole from the morgue is alive and having a coronary? But the guy who plays him and the lady who plays the person he had connection with, then Artemis, Zeus's daughter. I think the only person who's actually doing any kind of emoting throughout this whole episode is Zeus and John Novak. He's done kind of characters like this in other projects he's done. He's pretty corny. He's like, he's chewing the scenery a bit, but at least he's alive. Find that ironic to say, considering the subject matter of the episode. But we can't always have what we want. There is more being filled in by Sam doing exposition from his uh, Greek mythology class than anything else. I was actually quite amazed that Dean never pointed out or said anything, oh, nerd geek. I was ready to show that little, that, you know, this little thing here. I was ready to bring that up, but I, I didn't because I couldn't because it didn't happen. Surprise. But otherwise, this episode doesn't have much going for it other than the premise. You don't care about Prometheus's struggle through it and then when his son is held hostage you're like uh and then when artemis is comes back in to fight her dad i'm like it felt like the literal sampler of what this could have been because that's how much development is given i know that you only have so much time to put this kind of amount of storytelling into a 44 minute episode but everything moves at such a snail's pace in terms of what is actually happening that they don't give any time to make you care about any of these characters when it comes to the end where prometheus sacrifices himself by stabbing himself through the heart with artemis's arrow oh no anyway last week and i go back to what i said earlier that this episode technically speaking, isn't bad in concept. It's just poorly executed in any kind of means of entertaining you. This is by far one of the most boring episodes of Supernatural in recent years for me. Even the bad ones could entertain me, but this one, I had to watch it twice because I fell asleep. There is maybe one cool bit about it is at the end of the episode, very much harkening again to the storytelling of the first season, Sam and Dean have a conversation about the relation between Prometheus, Bobby, Rufus's deaths, and Sam's probable death due to the trials, that it's the life, it's meant to happen. And then Dean has a bit of a soulful moment at the very end of the episode, asking Castiel, hey, take care of my brother. While the dialogue I feel is a bit silly of that request, you do see Dean's regret for how he's treated Sam, especially since he's come back from purgatory. You see that regret. You feel that in the words. And the best part of this episode, truly speaking, is that monologue. Everything else about this episode is completely inconsequential. John Doe, presumably mauled by a grizzly. That's a dead guy? Dead my ass. That's a zombie, boys. Boys, aim for the head. In the end, I'm going to give Remember the Titans a 2 out of 7. It was just blah. I, I thought about a 3, but I can't give it a 3 because of a good monologue. Not when I'm bored out of my goddamn court. Just let me some skin, huh? It's fine. It's okay, Oliver. Oh, you weren't supposed to see it.
But those are my thoughts about this episode. Interested to see what you guys have to say. All right, we appear to be in reversal land because everyone has a, a different opinion than me. This is an enjoyable episode for me. I'm a sucker for Greek myth, so that automatically makes it a little bit more. And I was that too, but I feel like I wasted it. I love that the idea that a god's curse can be passed on to a child. That was cool. I also enjoyed the shout out to the god, act of God from season seven. They went through so much trouble and they couldn't have gone to any run of the mill new age shop as much as i love greek myth theme the part that makes this episode memorable is dean's prayer to Cass. i love that das Cass and, and dean dynamic in season eight after their year in purgatory their friendship brotherhood grew so much more and that prayer shows a relationship showing off i can agree with that that is the best part of this episode it's funny that with an episode called remember the titans that very few fans like myself remember this episode absolutely it's an interesting deep dive into greek mythology and makes pagan god Gods and goddesses more weaker than Christian mythology. Before knowing Chuck created the other gods and goddesses, it's always been intricate trying to understand how supernatural is interwoven with various mythologies. Especially knowing Prometheus brought fire to humanity and is a hero like Sam and Dean. It's a very messy episode, but at least the show made me hate Zeus more. It throws me off of a simple trap can trap him, but I have to remember Supernatural makes roles for that so many times. The episode at least ties in nicely with Sam's increasingly becoming unwell from the trials and Dean's prayer to Castiel is very heartfelt. I really enjoy watching this episode. The writers did a good job for me. See, I don't I don't have that. It's very interesting to see how the Titans here. Uh, I really enjoy the actors who play Prometheus, Artemis, and Zeus. It's definitely, I, I like the guy who plays Zeus. It's definitely one of my favorite episodes of season eight, but I don't like how Zeus got defeated so easily, even though... I did like how Artemis stood up to her father. Dean in unintentionally quoting Lord of the Rings always makes me laugh. Sam might be the brainier brother, but Dean hands down is the dorkier brother. Absolutely, and he's just in denial. Also got to applaud Dean for showing his restraint. He clearly knows Sam is unwell and trying to respect Sam, but not getting too overprotective and nag on him. And of course, I love Dean's prayer to Cass. Not only is it showing Dean's growing concern to his, for his brother, but also showed us how much he missed his angel friend. Now, getting to Sam, of course he was the one to figure out Artemis' romantic feelings for Prometheus, given Sam's own romantic history. He's also an expert on these complicated love stories. As for the main plot, well, however, the sh whenever the show deals with mythology slash religion that isn't Christian, it's often hit and miss. While I wish they did more Greek myths, I did enjoy Prometheus' tragic story, so it was a pass in my books. Yeah, see, y'all are real nice on this episode. I thought the episode was decent and added a little. It did add a little Prometheus myth, but the fact that Zeus was killed with an arrow was just, in my opinion, weak. Yeah, it was. It was pretty weak. All right, guys. Now we're moving on to the next episode. Goodbye, stranger. Please give me your guys' thoughts about that episode in the comments below, and I'll read this off in the next review. I just hope that this episode is not as boring as this one was. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you want more, and I'll see you guys on the next video.